While Ryan Garrison is already drawing down and reducing in size, just down the road at Elmstation Station on the German-Dutch border, life is said to be busier than ever. Javelin Barracks is the largest Royal Signals base outside the UK, and as Rob Olver reports, current operations are giving people little time to dwell on the base's eventual closure in 2015. There's been a British military base in Elmt for six decades. First, it was Royal Air Force Bruggen, built to deter a Soviet invasion and transformed nine years ago into the Javelin Barracks Royal Signals Base. Now, under plans to close Rhein Garrison, troops will leave Elmt in 2015. But at 7th Signal Regiment, one of the barracks' three signals units, drawdown is said to be the last thing on soldiers' minds. We're sort of busier than ever, really. I've got a squadron which is deployed um, in Afghanistan at the moment, which is in Kabul, supporting uh, the headquarters there. Uh, and they've been there for over four months now. Um, a second squadron is preparing to go in July. OK, on the case of gunshot wounds, first... While those soldiers have been updating combat medical skills this week, yet another of 7 Signal Regiment squadrons is away involved in NATO's Libya operation. If you consider that uh, we've got a footprint now in a few different places for the, for the troops. It's extremely exciting for the guys when they first come out of training and for the guys as well. They come here and suddenly find themselves in, uh, in one shape or another supporting operations um, around the world. So I think it's an extremely exciting time. Soldiers left behind at Javelin Barracks seem equally occupied. 7th Signal Regiment has just received a new fleet of computerised lorries. They have to be updated once a month, adding to an already heavy workload in the servicing bay. I uh, never, never bored. There's always something to do with an MT department, whether it be first works in the vehicles, whether it be inspecting the vehicles, finding aid jobs on them to give to the lads, replacing parts. Maybe someone's crashed one and you have to get one away to get it repaired. But Elm Station isn't all work and no play. Commanders say they want it to be a pleasant, well catered for community. Several times a month there are events like the Help for Heroes charity fashion show, staged at the weekend by military wives. I think they're thriving still. All the amenities are still open and, um, and there's this buzzing day-to-day -day activity and of course we're still having nice big events uh, like this one. Talk to troops in Elmt and some do wonder how defence cuts could affect them, but Rhine Garrison and its closure is not such a hot topic in a place where life seems to continue much as it's always done and drawdown seems far off in the future. Rob Olver, Forces News, Elmt.